Okay, so to get started, let's make sure that we're even in the right place and doing the right thing. Uh, what I mean is there's a difference between the coding languages for front end and back end. Okay, so let's just make sure that we have this clear. All right, front end, when you hear the word front end, like front end development, or I'm going to hire a front end developer, what they're saying is they're hiring someone to work on how things look in the site. Okay, so that's the important part, how things look. And that involves the images, the content, the structure of the site. Okay, it's a lot of words right now, I get it. Just kind of go through with this and then we'll apply it to some examples. But for now, the takeaway is how things look, the images, the content, the structure, right? And that's important because for those features or things you want to do, there's only going to be three languages, all right? That actually, I'm making it easy for you. There's only three languages that you're going to need to know for front end. There won't ever be a fourth or a fifth at its basic most basic, it is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are the three front-end languages. Okay, so how does that differ from the back-end? Well, the back-end now, that is going to be how things work. And you may think of this as the logic or the data surrounding a site. Essentially, any site with a database is going to need some back-end to it. Right? Those are just the rules. That's how it works. And when we involve how things work and logic and users and making credit card payments, all of this kind of data intensive you know, stuff, the coding languages for that is going to be Ruby, Python, PHP, Java, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? These are the, the back end languages. Right? This is probably all the languages. You know, If you've heard of, of another one, it's probably on this list somewhere. Okay. Um, you know, the good thing to take note of is, as I said, the front end is only those three languages. And the back end, you generally only choose one back end language, right? So for any website, you're going to have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and Ruby, right? Or HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and PHP. But you don't usually choose Ruby, Python, PHP, and Java all on one site. Oh, man. Also, another question, I get this quite often from uh, students, or they confuse, you know, Java and JavaScript. And I just want to let you know that they are totally different totally different languages javascript is as you see a front end language and uh it's kind of like you know ham and hamster right how like they kind of share the same part of the word but really don't have anything to do with each other yeah it's like that um so for our purposes of doing this front end class html css and javascript that's the important thing to understand and so now i want to show you a way that we can apply what we just learned to an actual site okay so have you ever been to zappos before Probably, right? It's this place where you can come and buy some shoes or apparently dresses or other thingies, right? Whatever. You get the point. Um, so you come here, and I'm going to show you what is the difference between front end and back end, but with real life examples, okay? So um, humor me here for a second. I'm going to be just, just the customer of the site, and I'm going to walk through the site as a user, right? And I'm gonna start just like observing, right? So I'm, all right, I'm here, I'm shopping, right? And I'm observing, I see some shoes, I see some text here. All right, maybe I'll, maybe I'll click on this here. All right, great. Um, some shoes, I could zoom. Nice, boom, boom. Can choose my size. These are weird sizes, but it works. Okay, sweet. Five, five, this is for children. All right, so uh, I got my size, I got it in the cart, proceed to checkout, boom. Okay, okay, see what I just did there? Um, a few steps, things that we do every single day on the internet, right? You just click around, you purchase something, you buy something, whatever. Well, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna show you what is the difference between the front end and the back end. So the front end is everything and how things look, right? Everything that we saw, it's the text, it's the images, right? All of this stuff, the colors, this is all the front end. And I can go back here, all the front ends, all the front end. And now here's the thing. You only ever see the front end of a website. You only ever see the front end of a website. You don't see the back end. Let me show you what I mean. So what I made here is a little wireframe. And I'm going to go through and illustrate which is the front end and which is the back end. So like I said, everything we saw is the front end. But what really happened when you were on that homepage and uh, when I clicked on the shoe, 
What really happened is it took me to this back end page. Now you didn't see it, right? We didn't see anything, but it just happened so quickly. The back end page is made up of one language. In this case, it's PHP. And just like a file on your computer, like a .doc or a .mp3, this is just a file on your computer with a .php extension. And that says, hey, this file has some, some programming in it that is written in PHP, just a bunch of steps really that go up you know, from the top to the bottom. And what these steps might say, for example, is you know, maybe it's like number one, is this person a user of the site zappos.com, right? Number two, if they are, send them to the cart page. Simple stuff like that. Well, here's what happens. When it needs to check, number one, it says, hey, number one, is this person a user? It goes and looks in the database. The database is in that back end part. And it's in the database. And first off, a database isn't really anything to worry about. It's really kind of like a glorified Excel sheet is what I think of it. It's columns and rows, some data laid out in there. So this code is saying, hey, look in that Excel sheet, that database, and do you see Chris's name in there? And then it goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I see Chris's name in there. And then the database goes back to the PHP and says, yep, everything's good. Send him to the cart. Let him ship out. You know, let him get his shoes. Awesome. OK, let's take another different scenario. Did that, did that make sense, though, right, front end, back end? In another scenario, you know, perhaps somebody who comes that's not in that, you know, someone called Judd comes, right? My friend Judd comes. And he comes, and he clicks on the home page, and it goes to the PHP in the back end, and then they don't find his name. In that case, the PHP, it's like the brain, right? It's going to control and say, hey, you know what? Let's not let him ship out. We don't have his shipping information or his credit card information. But instead, we'll make a new page. We'll send him to this register page. And then we create that register page, and then it goes to the cart, yada, yada, yada. So those are some tips for understanding the difference between front end and back end, how things look versus how things work.